Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race, and today we're not working on one of my cars, we're actually working on AJ's truck. So, we're going to be doing a budget twin turbo kit on this thing, and building it ourselves with some used turbos, and up and forward headers, and just making a really simple kit that pretty much anybody could kind of build on their LS. So, we're going to take you guys through the process, and then eventually we'll see how much power this thing can make. What is in this thing? It's a... Dock 5.3. Only thing that's been upgraded on it is we put race bearings in the rods and mains, and it's got a stage three twin turbo Brian two leaf cam in it. Um, 102 millimeter intake with the A1 performance intake manifold. The Holly up and forward headers and some cheap Amazon stainless. Last year we sprayed it with what about a hundred shot, 120 or something. 125. 125 just through a single nozzle deal on a bone stock engine no cam or anything and what was your fastest time uh 1301 almost got that 12 second pass up here in colorado so if we were at better elevation it for sure would have went 12s in this big old thick c10 awesome. so called side chick so <laughs> we're uh we're gonna get this thing torn down we're gonna pull the exhaust off we are reusing the headers we're gonna cut this off kind of like on my car it's gonna be more or less the header will be the hot side turbo somewhere in this general area and then we'll build uh, intake, no intercooler on this setup because eventually we may be running some special fuel, but we'll talk about that later. We got the ends cut off. You might be wondering why. That's because if you've ever ordered a set of these like Flowtech type headers, they're actually pretty decent headers. They run a set on the Camaro, but they come with these really, really crappy V-bands initially, and they are, they're crap. So you buy these and they're not even that expensive. And then you can weld these onto the end. But since we're going super short hot side, we'll actually put these on um, elsewhere. But if you needed to, you could always add these to it right there. And then, um, but I think we're going to end up running it on the other side and then attaching them to the turbo mount. But we'll see. Not quite there. We're going to get these installed back on the truck. AJ's already got one of them. And we're off to build the turbo kit. Both headers are back in. I usually end up using tape. We cut up the old exhaust to save some material and we just use some good tape, to kind of hold it into place, get us an idea so we can start mocking things up and looking at stuff. This is what we're trying to look at and figure out, make sure if he ever lowers the truck, we don't run into the pipes, which if you went to a skinny, that would move that out a little bit too. So he'd gain, he should have plenty of room right here. But we also don't want to get too high to where we're out the hood, but good thing, this thing has a ton of engine bay room. It's it's crazy. It's gonna work out really good for twins. So we're gonna kind of look at this side, but what ultimately what we want is the front of the turbo to somewhat line up with here to make the intake easy to build. These are the V-bands that we're gonna use. And then on the housing here, to be able to adapt it from that little guy over to the exhaust size that we had, this actually fits exactly right there. So we're gonna weld onto the cast. We're not sure how well that'll work or how long that'll hold or hopefully it doesn't crack or whatever, but a lot of people weld into the exhaust housings. So that's what we're gonna try. So we got to the headache part where now we gotta decide what makes the most sense without biting us in the butt later. So we're trying to figure out like this sits decent, looks pretty cool. That's the hood height, so we're good there. He's looking at blow off valves there, which would look pretty sick at an angle kinda. And then it dips down and then into the intake. And then if he ever has a taller intake, we'd rotate these up and rebuild it to go in there. Uh, but trying to decide, do we want this much angle at the turbo? I mean, it looks kind of cool from this angle. From this angle, it's turned way out, but it would work. Uh, so just trying to decide if we want to go square, we could do that. But then we got to change the intake pipe this way. So just trying to fill it out, trying to see what we think here. Oh, yeah. And what kind of turbos are these? Uh, VS Racing 6. 6762. So he picked these up. He was from a guy that was here in town. Uh, they went ran pretty good on his like stock 5.3 thing. So we're gonna we're gonna give them a try. And then what we were talking about too earlier is by us doing this adapter right here, it will let us go to a bigger turbo if we need to in the future. I'll show you guys the difference here too. Just by turning the turbo and then rotating that pipe around to where now it's in the bottom. Now we're coming in at it like this, but then it creates a really harsh turn here. We can maybe bring it and sneak it. So that's what we're trying to look at right now is like, that's a lot lower and cleaner, but then we start messing with the intake pipe situation. So that's, we're just holding U's and 90s and trying to figure out how we want to come from there to there and how much angle we want in this. We're starting to make this side over here, got our piece cut and actually remembered, which you got to reach down in that pipe to do it, putting solar flux in here so you can see it drying. 
This is stuff, if you're not back purging, you can use, it's called Solar Flux. You mix a little bit of alcohol with it, it comes in a little can, you make a little paste, and then it dries up, and then you, when you weld it, it gives kind of like a nice little finish to the inside, not getting all crusty and everything. So this stuff is pretty awesome. Now that we got both turbos sitting here, we're trying to figure out the cold side. We have some like 90s that are like that, but they're really a wide radius. So I found these actually from Salty. This is the donut I had to buy and get it here so then we can make that really tight bin down by the intercooler that fix all my issues. Well, we had half of one left. So I'm actually trying to come up with and make like some sort of a merge here that would be, let me get it. Uh, here we go. Something like that. And then we can turn it and go out tight. And then this one will be the same over here. We gotta still cut this one. So trying to make this work to where it's a really tight merge, but we're also gotta go from whatever this is, like two and a half or whatever, up to the uh to the four inch there so we're still we're still figuring it out but cutting fitting looking at figuring it out well after some thinking cutting grinding sanding we're close we're not perfect this thing's kinked over a little bit we'd have to weld and kind of reinforce that we're gonna end up using like the clamp to help get this super round but by it not being perfectly round it'll actually help hold this kind of in here shout out to the rubber grommet that's gonna do work for us but Otherwise, that kind of gives, gives you the idea. What do you think, buddy? I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Going from not having any spoolie boys to having them and doing this, this is awesome. It looks pretty sick. So, yeah, super, super simple. 45, building that thing made our lives easy. If we were out here, then we'd have to shoot more to it. And so this is all kind of when you, when you have the ability to put stuff where you want, it really p plays out real nice. And we got a cold side after a little bit of this and that and cut and fit and grind that's what we got so it's looking pretty good the uh mirror image turbos are pretty sweet so it keeps it pretty similar and uh now we're going to move on to the blow off elves we're going to use some vs racing and put them right about here and there so i'm going to work on welding this stuff up while aj works on in between while it cools dr drilling those holes and then the flange that came with them doesn't quite fit the pipe there's a big old gap right there because it's meant for like a smaller tube than this size. So we're going to uh, just massage this here and here on the points until it sits nice and flush all the way around. Then we can weld that. So if you've ever welded aluminum, you know a gap is no good. Now we're back to a naturally aspirated combination. No, I'm just kidding. We've been working on the wastegate pipes. AJ's been cutting and cleaning up these so we can eventually have these on there. Remember, if you guys have ever watched me build a turbo kit, I will always make sure to prioritize the exhaust. It should try to go out the wastegate easier than it is to go to the turbo. So the exhaust, if you had this open, it would have an easier time going out here than there. You do not want to 90 it to where it would want to go past it or shear it off or whatever. So we're doing good there. Each side looks the same. I got the hottest intake tube in the world right here. It is hot, it's cooling off because we just got done welding on it, but pretty much everything's done there other than intake temp and nitrous bung. So that's where we're at. We're gonna call it a stops for the night and we'll be back. We gotta keep working on it. We've got some busy days coming up in the week and all that. So, but we're gonna, you're, you're, you're this close to having a twin turbo pickup, buddy. Sleeper days, Ooh. bud, sleeper days. Don't tell nobody about it, no. This is the exhaust that used to run back and down when it was just in A, but now actually, if we put this in here at the 45, turn it back to get it away from the tire, it'll kind of go down along there. And then we can start there and start coming out with it. We might put a little bullhorn on it, just a little exit, or it might just stay down there for a while until we can get it turned out when we get some more material. Adrian's trying to get this thing running and driving, so we're at least trying to get something of an exhaust on it, and then we'll worry about really making it better or finished or whatever here in the future. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on cutting this thing up and making an exhaust for this deal, and he's going to make some line. Here is that other side. I added the flange. And then pretty much just tacked it on there. And this is what we got, which check this out. It lines up super well with where the O2 is at. So that's fantastic. And then over here, I took a 45 here. We got a straight shot. We'll have to move these brake lines up or you'll have to wrap them with heat and probably both. But then this body line right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, actually has a little mount right there. So we can come over, hold it there. And then I'll take the 45 that's right there shoot it out where AJ's laying, boom. And then we'll take a straight that's left over here, put on there, boom. Nice, nice. We're back at it and we are super crazy close. We've been coming over a couple hours each night just whittling away at things and 
everything's wired up. Intake air temp, we got the nitrous done, we got the O2, we got the CO2 lines coming to everything, we got a dome pressure sensor that we just wired up, we got the new map sensor, AJ ended up running everything up to a vacuum block, that's actually off of Salty, so Salty's still going strong with donating some parts to freaking make other things fast, hell yes. Otherwise, we are super dang close. We still need to do some mounts for like the exhaust, but he's gonna... We, we got a race in a couple days, so he gonna, he gonna go for it. We got the final point. We're gonna figure it out. Probably not. Everything's absolutely 100%, but we are super close, and everything that uh, we need to do, for the most part, is the way it will stay for quite some time. You know, sometimes before you make it to a race, you just gotta get stuff done, and then you'll come back, clean it up, or in Salty's case, you don't, but I still need to do some stuff on that thing. So. <laughs> AJ is just finishing up, hooking up some wiring on the inside of this thing to the ECU. Then we can do some pinning in the ECU and hopefully fire this thing up. It's got everything pin mapped in. I think I got everything situated with the ECU and what needs to click and whatever. So we're just keying on, getting some fuel pressure. I need to run this new tune up into the ECU. It's saying we must update, which we'll do in a minute, but still gonna let us ride it. Seeing any leaks, buddy? I'm not finding any leaks. We're looking okay. Seeping, injectors look good, line connections look good, hoses look good. Okay. We're good there. So after a little bit of use of that brand new snap on the multimeter, we have trans brake, click, bump. Oh yes. There's a little loose wire. Got her figured out. On to the next thing. Got everything I think set up for the most part. Went back over the timing table to put a base in there and see what happens. So there it is, two-step and all. What do you think, buddy? I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> Just stoked? I'm that like, smile right there says, you I'm got like, a boost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like that like, kid at Willy Wonka that made it all the way through and got to ride the fucking like, Right on, hell yeah. That's dating myself. <laughs> So, guys, if you want to see more or follow this build as he's racing, make sure you go over to 5150 Adventures. AJ does have a YouTube video. He's been making videos about this thing. I was just here to help him with the turbo kit. And, I mean, more or less, pretty cheap turbo kit. Used turbos, reusing piping, no intercooler, super budget build. We'll see how fast this thing can go. It's does, it does have a cam in it. But, I mean, I guess we could probably add that all up. But, like, what do you got into the turbos? Like... 600 bucks for both turbos. 600 bucks both turbos and waste gates. He bought new blow off valves. We reused piping. We got the new injectors um, because we're going to run this thing on E and then we'll play with some fuels and stuff. But uh, if you want to keep following him, make sure you go over. I'll put a link in the description. Check out his channel. But otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.